We're going to find out who that's going to be, whether or not it is, in fact, a new Mr. Olympia, or whether Phil Heath is able to retain the title. We're going to learn that in just a moment as Bob Ciccarello announces the fifth place finisher on down. And uh, this is a moment that is met with more anticipation than I think we expected because Mom right, Duels by A, all the way from the Kuwait, came to Vegas, gunning for Phil Heath, he's done the work. And we're going to find out what uh, head judge Steve Weinberger has to say about this Thank you, Bob. as he takes them through a final set of comparisons. Gentlemen, court turn to the right. Quarter turn to the right. Quarter turn to the right. Face front. Front double bicep. Well, this is going to be our final chance to get to see these guys compared. Phil Heath in the center on one side of him. Big Rami, Mom Duels Baye on the other side, the former Olympia champion of 2008, Dexter Jackson. William Bonac all the way off to the right side of your screen. And Sean Roden all the way off to the left side. These are the top five bodybuilders in the world. And now what they're going to do is they're going to move Big Rami into the center. He is milking the crowd. The crowd is responding in a big way. During the commercial break, Bob Ciccarillo asked the audience who they thought was going to win. He mentioned every single name. And the name that got the biggest applause was Big Rami. People are really excited about the possibility that we could potentially see the crowning of a 14th Mr. Olympia tonight. Something to get excited about. The Phil Heath is not going to go quietly into the night, Dan. He, this is where his experience may come through. But we also might see a different Rami knowing the potential and the gravity of the situation. Let's find out who seizes the moment. I know we say this a lot, but I would not want to be holding that pencil and paper at the judges' table right now. This is extremely close, extremely difficult to call. Uh, Big Rami has done Back. the work, Black and uh, he has brought something extremely dangerous. I don't know if he's going to win tonight. He might, but I can tell you this right now. He's created a whole lot of intrigue as we begin the march to the 2018 Olympia. First things first, we've got to crown a champion. Well, you can see Phil's just got better genetics, tinier waist. Uh, from the back, he just he's lights out Side as far as I'm set. concerned. However, Rami is super wide. The judges have got to take into account conditioning does count for something, as you see in Phil he's glutes and his hamstrings. But there's something to be said, Dan for getting as big as Big Rami is and still being able to have a very pleasing physique. Look at the side of his leg compared to Phil's. It is ridiculously large. We don't see that. It is ridiculous. He's 5'9". Dominoes and thighs. Dominoes and thighs. We knew Big Rami was special from the moment we first heard about him. His first couple outings at the Olympia were impressive. They were respectable, but we knew he had further that he needed to go. We knew that there was a piece of this puzzle that he hadn't found yet. It appears that he has found it. And now they're going to go through the most muscular, which is obviously going to be the image that you're going to see across social media over the next 24 hours as these guys hit their favorite most muscular in the final moments of Olympia judging their final chance to make their case. There's your 2008 Olympia champion, Dexter Jackson, Sean Roden, last year's runner-up, Phil Heath, Big Rami, William Bonac are going to catch their breath, and it's now time for a pose down. There's only one man on that stage that has beaten your reigning six-time defending champion, and that is Dexter the Blade Jackson. Everyone else has been a bridesmaid along the way, and they've all taken turns beating each other in competitions around the world on the bodybuilding circuit. However, Phil Heath, when he ventured outside the United States, has done nothing but win. He won over in India at the Shrew Classic. He won over in Spain at the Arnold Classic Europe, and he's focused since then only on the Mr. Olympia Championships. And in typical fashion, the champion is making his way to one side of the stage, and the contenders are chasing and who knows when the day will come where they will start chasing Big Rami. I have a feeling it's not too far down the road. The question is, is that going to start tonight? Phil Heath is an impressive champion. He's trying to win his seventh standout trophy, something that has only been done by Arnold Schwarzenegger, Ronnie Coleman, and Lee Haney in the history of the Mr. Olympia contest. Big Rami is having a whole lot of fun here in Las Vegas tonight. He knows what's at stake. 
Uh, his contingency of, of supporters have followed him here, and uh, there's a whole lot of enthusiasm around the possibility that a new champion could be crowned. Um, seeing Sean Roden up there is also a credit to his ongoing consistency. He has been top five in the world for several years in a row right now. He'll try, and, and apparently he will stay there, or certainly he will have a spot in the top six, or in the top five, rather. But uh, for Phil Heath, the question is, did he do enough? Big Rami comes over. He asks permission to make his way out into the crowd. Um, or I guess they're not going to uh, authorize that permission. <laughs> or, uh, they, they, they seem to be on a different time constraint this year. Typically, they'll allow these guys out into the audience to bring the fans to their feet, to uh, take pictures with the fans during the post down. We're not going to see that tonight uh, for television considerations. Let me give you some perspective, Dan. Right now, these guys are physically egg Exhausted. There's really very little gas to take. And now with this camera angle, you see the detail that you that, that Rami doesn't necessarily have in that muscularity shot that Phil actually is carrying. But this is when they're spent. They've been dieting in the anxiety and the dehydration. Uh, it is a very strenuous position to be in. They cannot wait to get this thing over. And, and I'm going to caution the fans out there because I know there's fans of Big Rami that think he has this. The fans of Phil Heath thinks he has it. And you know what? On some level, you're both right because you both have a good case for winning this thing. There isn't a right or a wrong answer on this thing. These guys are having a lot of fun. They all bring something very different. What Big Rami brings right, is not what Phil Heath brings, guys. but they are both. Or in the case of Big Rami, he is at the top of his game. Phil Heath obviously has a genetic predisposition to deliver something that it's remarkable, and the question is, is that genetic predisposition going to be enough to hold off Big Romney for at least another year? Let me just tell you something. Whoever is the first runner-up, this shouldn't be a boom right, in this audience. Is this is an amazing board. event right now in this time in bodybuilding. To be a part of this, Dan, Our on this level, is very exciting to win. There are no losers here. Presenting the fifth place award, representing Amazon Sports Nutrition, I'd like to welcome Stefania back to the stage. Please take the fifth place award, the check for $45,000 to your fifth place finisher. Sean Roden. All right, Sean Ray. There it is. Sean Roden is going to finish fifth place here at the 2017 Mr. Olympia. An outcome that certainly is not surprising at all based on the way the judges called this thing out through the course of the contest. A testament to Sean Roden for continuing to stay among the top five in the world where he has been for several years. And he'll stay there uh, once again. And uh, really one of the great bodybuilders on the planet. He fell just a little bit short. I know he wanted to bring something a little bit different but it didn't quite play out for him this year. But once again, $45,000 fifth place check. Well, look, he went from first to fifth. It's yeah, not a crime, Dan. I've been very familiar with second place in the Olympia and fifth place. It's a little bit different in the pocketbook. Sean Roden has nothing to be ashamed of. Presenting the fourth place award, representing the Amazon Media Group, Mr. R.C. Casey. You will take the fourth place award, the check for $55,000 and present it to the Blade, Dexter Jackson. Once again, Dexter Jackson remains among the world's very best. He was third a year ago. He'll settle for fourth this year. He'll turn 48 years old in November, but apparently for the Blade, age means nothing. And the fans respect it. They appreciate it. And Dexter Jackson, I'm going to tell you right now, he's going to be back again next year. Well, there's nothing. Look at Dexter Jackson said, unless he falls out of the top six, he doesn't have a plan B. This is his life's calling. He's showing us his life's work. It's not that he's off, and it's not that he's old. He is in the elite of the elite. And to get fourth on this stage tonight is a feat that very few bodybuilders can do. And I'll remind everyone that all of these guys, the entire top five, is already qualified for next year's Olympia. The Olympia bronze medal to your third place finisher, William Bonac. William Bonac continues to climb the ladder joins the very exclusive top three in the World Club, where he will be presented with an Olympia bronze medal, something I know you are very familiar with. 
Sean Ray, I think you have a few of those hanging in your office. I got three of them, Dan, and I got to tell you something. That is a heavy little weight that he's got around his neck, and it is an accomplishment in his career that he'll be able to tell his grandchildren because he is the number three bodybuilder, not just tonight, but in the world at his profession. That is a very good feeling to have, and now he's going to focus on second or first. He's got his work cut out. A moment like this, I need a little bit of help up here. I don't know about you, but I smell something cooking in the air. Phil looks concerned. Please welcome to the stage The Rock, Dwayne Johnson. The Rock brings that element to any audience. He's a big fan of bodybuilding, Dan. He has supported bodybuilding, and he puts his work in, working with George Farah and Hani Ramba throughout his career. Okay, okay. It's a very special night. So, how's everybody doing, by the way? This is a 2017 Olympia. It could be a hist an historic night. I said, how is everybody doing tonight? So, to these two gentlemen, I want to tell you uh, fr from my heart and to the, uh, the athletes who competed tonight, men, women, all incredibly inspiring, incredible, the discipline has been incredible, it's all the things and qualities uh, that we love and admire and respect about you guys. So on behalf of myself, everyone in this room and everyone around the world, I want to thank you for inspiring us to create the best person we could be daily and always be the hardest workers in the room. I love you too. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to introduce the greatest bodybuilder on the planet, the recipient of the 2017 iconic Sandow Trophy. Schwarzenegger, you've got company. Phil Heath is now a seven-time winner of bodybuilding's most prestigious title. He is Mr.